Hello everybody, my name is Weefius and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the very popular series on this channel, which of course is the best Hermit skins. Today, Scar. Good Times with Scar is arguably the best builder on the Hermitcraft server. His incredible builds through every season, as well as humorous commentary, combine to form one of the most entertaining Hermits out there, in my opinion, of course. But his build skills don't stop there. While he does construct incredible Minecraft builds, he also creates incredible Minecraft skins. Over the course of seasons 6 and 7, Good Times with Scar has used many different skins. But today, I have compiled 9 of Scar's best skins and we will be looking and comparing them to see which one is in fact the best. Oh, and uh, just a heads up, over 93% of you guys are actually not subscribed, so if you do enjoy what you see today, then I would really, 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 really appreciate it if you could subscribe. That would be great. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe later. Plus, by subscribing, it shows you enjoy this content and motivates me to do more similar stuff. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. But that said, let's get right into it. I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe or best keeper and we'll take your sacred biscuit. A quick disclaimer before the video starts, while I did do as much research as possible for this episode over a few hours, I might not have all of the Scar skins covered, so if a good times with Scar skin did not appear on this list, it's because of one of three reasons. One, it wasn't on Scar's name MC, two, I couldn't find the episode where he used the skin, or three, it just wasn't a part of Hermitcraft season 6 or 7. For those of you who have watched this series before, you already know how we grade skins around here, but for those of you who are new, and a refresher for those of you who might have forgotten, we use a 30 point grading system for grading skins. There are four criteria for making good skins, and in this case, they are as follows. Criteria number one, impact on the plot. Out of 10, I will rank how much this skin, I think, contributed to the episode and how memorable or enjoyable slash relatable those scenes were. And overall, the impact of that episode slash skin. Criteria number two, how detailed. Out of 10 again, I will determine how many changes occurred between changing the skins. This is kind of opinion based, but I'm also going to be trying to add how much work I think was put in into the skin. Like, if not a bunch of work was put in, like only a bit was added, like a mustache and greens case, not gonna rate it that high. Criteria number three, creativity. Out of five this time, I will try to judge how cool of an idea the skin was, in my opinion, of course. And number four, my opinion overall. I will be giving my opinion out of five. Because it's just opinion, I'm saying that a lot, how good the skin is, I'm only going to give it 5, it doesn't deserve that much, it's just what I think. How much I personally like it. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Do consider subscribing, thank you so much, and let's do this. Oh, and uh, please do can comment your favorite Scar skin down below. Obviously, your opinion might be different from mine, and I really am genuinely curious to know what your favorite Scar skin is. I've tried to read all the early comments, so if you comment within like 15 minutes to 1 hour of the video going up, chances are I'll hardly comment and reply. Thank you so much, and let's get actually into the video. Starting off our list at the number 9 spot is Creeper Scar. Creeper Scar, or Screeper for short, made its debut around Halloween of 2018, the first of Hermitcraft Season 6. The skin was much amusement to Scar, but it bombed on our list. I get it? Bombed? It's a creeper, that's funny. The skin gets a 3 in plot, because it didn't really add much to the episode, just a small Halloween flare. It didn't do so well in detail either, because I don't think that too much work had to be put into the skin, earning it a measly 5 out of 10. Creativity wise, it wasn't really too creative to dress up for Halloween, but merging skins was Scar's like idea only, out of the Hermits I think, so I'll be generous and give him a 3 out of 5. However, I didn't really like the skin that much because it's something I could see myself wearing in like 2014 unironically at the age of like 9, so it doesn't really pass my judgement there. I don't know, that's just my opinion of course, and that's why I gave it a 2. The skin got a 13 overall out of potential 30, so not the best. Moving on though to number 8. With just 0.5 more points, at number 8 comes Santa Scar, or Scanta. That kinda sounds like a bug with pincers, so I'm not gonna say it anymore. You'll see an ongoing theme here that holiday skins don't do as well on this list, and Good Times with Scar Santa is no exception. Just like Screeper, the skin gets a 3 out of 10 for a plot and a measly 1.5 out of 5 in creativity. However, I think there was a bit of effort put into the skin, so I gave it a solid 7 out of 10 for detail. That being said, I don't really like it or dislike it. To me personally, it's just quite standard, thus earning it only a 2 in opinion. Moving on, however, from Good Times with Santa to the number 7 spot. 
Coming in at number 7 is Old Man Scar. I spent nearly 2 hours searching for the skin and questioning people until I realized I could just check in the MMC to see when Scar changed his skin. <sighs> well now I know I guess. That being said, Old Man Scar did below average in nearly every category. The skin earned a 4 out of 10 in both detail and plot, mainly because it was just there. There was nothing too special about Scar waiting for Sahar to open, but it was funny, so I earned a 4. Similarly, the skin didn't have too many features, only a beard. That's funny, but not really special. The skin did do very well in creativity though, because it is a funny addition, and Scar turning a bland situation into a funny comedic focal point, that's pretty cool, so 4 out of 5. Be that as it may, I personally don't like the skin that much, and I don't think there is much to like about it at all, thus I gave it a 2 out of 5. But I don't know, maybe that's just my opinion. Let me know if you like the skin, and your overall thoughts about the top 3 bad skins in the comment below. Just to be clear, none of these skins are bad, they're just the worst out of the ones that I have on this list. The holder of the number 6 spot is none other than Werewolf Scar, or the Squarewolf. That's pretty smart. Werewolf Scar was Scar's second Halloween skin of 2018, appearing only one episode after Creeper Scar. The skin kind of reminds me of Chewbacca from that one ob obscure franchise, I don't know if you've heard of it, it's like this Star Wars or something, I, I don't know. The skin gets a 3 in plot just like the rest of the holiday skins, but a solid 8 out of 10 in detail. I do think that the skin is really well made, and Scar put a lot of work into it, didn't just take it off a website. Assuming he didn't, of course. He did a really good job with the shading, and used different tinted pixels to make this nice fur effect. I'm not crazy about the skin though, and it kinda rubs me the wrong way, so I gave it a 2.5 in opinion. That being said, it's a 3 in creativity, pretty standard score, bumps it up to a total of 16.5 points at a potential 30. And now it's time for the final 5. Coming in at the number 5 spot on our list today is the very popular hit success Man in- uh, I mean, sorry, Scar in Black. Scar in Black featured in many episodes and earned a high point, or at least above average, point total in nearly every category. For those unaware of the lore of this skin, this skin was part of the Area 77 saga. Area 77 was one of the best storylines of Hermitcraft Season 6, a complex of anomalies, paranormal things contained and guarded by Good Times with Scar and Doc M 77. False Symmetry, I believe, was also a Hermit in Black, but Doc M and Scar were the main protagonists of this overall series. If you want more information about the Area 7 saga, I recommend you check out the video in the top right right now, where I talk about all the best stories of Hermitcraft Season 6. After this video, of course. Back to the skin, though. Due to its relevant setting and plot relation, the Scar and Black skin got a 9 out of 10 in plot and a 4.5 in creativity, because the entire plotline was not just very relevant, it was super duper creative as well. As for detail, I gave this skin a slightly generous 6.5 out of 10, but I do think it's a good skin and deserves to be recognized for its endeavors. Similarly, I gave the skin a 3 for opinion because I think it's a nice skin. Decent and nice, but definitely not my favorite of the bunch. The holder of the number 4 spot is none other than Jelly Scar. When Jelly was introduced to Minecraft, I was ecstatic. Back then, I was a bigger Green fan and watched Scar a bit less, but after watching his case and commentary, I could not help but feel overly happy when Jelly was chosen to be added. Even though I, I kinda wanted Maui, Jelly was incredible. To celebrate finding his cat in the world, Scar changed his skin to a miniature version of himself holding Jelly. I love the skin, it is by far my favorite on the list. I think it's very adorable and very cute of Scar to do such a thing, and the skin is really well made. Oh, I love the cat head, it's so cute. That being said, the skin got a 5 in opinion, and I tried to be generous by giving a 6 in plot, because it was pretty related to the current edition of Jelly. As for detail, not only did Scar do a tremendous job designing the cat head, he also did a great job of making the skin itself. The shrunk down Scar looks really, really, really good, so I gave the skin a 9 in detail. I think he captured the scale perfectly. And because of its originality, it also earned a 4 in creativity, thus bumping it up to the number 4 Scott spot with a spot like Jelly Jelly has spots, haha, <laughs> get it? Sorry. With 24 points out of 30. Really, really good score, just one point behind the number 3. While this skin is only one point ahead, it definitely is the most recognizable skin probably on this list. And before we get into the top 3, if you're still enjoying the video, Big thanks to you, and please do consider subscribing. I make content like this almost every Monday, and I would really, really appreciate it if you could subscribe. It would really help me a lot. However, that said, the number three spot belongs to none other 
then Wizard Scar. With the new arrival of Wizard Scar in Hermitcraft Season 7, the pantsless wizard has swept the competition and magicked his way right into the top three. Wizard Scar is a lovely skin, and I have pretty neutral feelings about it. That being said, one can't deny the immaculate detail put into this thing. The pixel shading on everything, the robe, the pants, the legs, it's incredible. And because all of the detail put into it, I gave it a 9.5 in detail, and then 8 in the plot, because it's a staple of Season 7. A scar staple. As said before, I have no strong opinion of the skin, so I gave it an above average 3 out of 5 in opinion. However, the skin got a near perfect 4 out of 5, 4.5 out of 5, sorry, in creativity, because the wizard scar skin is an original concept, I mean, because who's ever heard of wizards before? And much less pantsless wizards. Awesome skin scar. Now moving on to the big two. The skin in second place on our list is Demise Scar, or Dead Scar, whatever you want to call him. In my opinion, Dead Scar is the best skin ever to come out of Demise, out of every Hermit. Because Demise was a server-wide event, it is really important for the season. I have no choice but to give this skin a 9 in plot. I love the Demise story. Additionally, the skin looks incredible. For those of you who somehow don't know what the Mize is, it was a server-wide event where the last tournament alive won. Hermits were allowed to trap and murder their fellow server mates for a massive prize of 100 diamond blocks. If you want to see all the deaths as well as the eventual winner, check out the video in the top right right now to see for yourself. The whole demise thing is there. That being said, when our hermit did inevitably die, they turned their skin black and white. While most of the hermits used a basic skin or a black and white generator, a colorless version of their original skin, Scar took it to the next level, one step further. Crafting this masterpiece of a skin. Demise Scar looks incredible, and it is undeniably one of Scar's best ever skins, my second favorite actually. The usage of all different shades of grey is extremely well done, and I cannot keep stating, I cannot stop stating how lovely this skin is, although I have to, for the video's sake. The skin earns a 10 out of 10 for detail, obviously, and a 3 in creativity. This may not seem super duper high, but compared to the other Demise skins, it is really well done, because Scar's is effort, like, he put in more effort than usual, so definitely creative. And additionally, I love the skin, so I gave it a 4 in opinion. I like the jelly one more, but this one comes close, and it looks really, really, really cool. I think it deserves the number 2 spot on this list, but at 26 points, the skin is barely not good enough to pass the holder of number 1. With just half a point more, at 26.5 points, here we go. The number 1 spot holder is a skin that is also associated with Area 77. A skin that pursued the hippies, confiscated the time machine that Grian loved so much, and patrolled the legendary complex that was the area. This skin is none other than the legendary Captain Scar. Truth be told, when I first saw this skin, I didn't really like it that much because I thought Scar looked mad. I thought the things on top of his heads were designed to look like eyebrows, like Angry Birds. However, the skin grows on me, and now, after looking at it, it really has grown on me, and I quite like it. Because of that, I gave it a 3.5 in opinion, but where this skin really excels is in every other category. Earning a perfect score in creativity, it is a symbol of the amazing plot that was her Area 77. The whole skin was well thought out, and the whole plot was really well thought out, but I already mentioned my love of the story previously. I like the previous skin, because of its relevance and overall help to the Hermitcraft season, this skin earns a 9 in plot. And again, as you may have guessed, another 9 in detail, because this skin looks brilliant. It does seem like a lot of effort was put in, and it looks really thoroughly made. That being said, it isn't perfect, but it certainly comes close. But, however, that actually concludes today's list of the best Scar skins in Hermitcraft. Oh, and of course, a 5 in creativity. Who could forget? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. But thank you so much. I'll see y'all next time. Comment your favorite Scar skin down below, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Goodbye.